Hi guys, it's Jamie here and welcome to day five of our Start Journaling Challenge. The next two days are going to be quite simple pages because I am busy tomorrow so I need to record two videos in a day and the amount of editing I need to do for one video takes a very long time. Therefore, I'm keeping the pages simpler so the editing is less. I have here some coffee stained paper, which I stained with a stencil. And I'm going to edge this with some vintage photo just to age it a little bit. This is going to be what I'm actually going to write on for the day five question. We have to do the question in advance of designing the page because I want to do something that doesn't involve pockets this time, but more like we did on the first day when we just wrote on the page itself. But this page is quite full, so you couldn't write on it. It would be awkward. Need to write off the page, then glue it on. Thinking about leftovers from yesterday. I've got an old advert here, and that will dictate where I can write. I will place that along the edge, smooth it down maybe do it a bit more gently because that paper is super delicate looking to see what else I've got here I might create some kind of cluster because I still have other bits of leftovers music score some wording some of this stained tissue I'm sure about that string I've got some of this and put all of that down on there to go at the top of that advert put some glue down to hold that piece of scrap so I'm going to use that silicone all-purpose glue. You can use Fabri-Tac. And I have this bit of cutaway crochet placemat creating some textures there. To the side of me, I have another button that's still got a bit of stitching in. So if I can rescue that, I will. And I'll use a big clip to hold all of that together while it takes. This glue takes a little while to dry. Today's question I've answered on a very practical level. You can go deeper if you wish. The question is, what needs to happen for you to feel more comfortable in life? Currently, there are only two things I can think of. More income, which can be achieved by working harder, selling my former company, finding another form of income, especially before July. So that's like several different options for the more income. I don't have to do all three. Number two, lose all the weight I've gained in 2021 and 2022 as it affects my self-confidence a lot. This can be achieved by controlling my calorie intake so that I'm in deficit, which is difficult because everyone feels hungry, and by expending more energy because I've been very sedentary the last couple of years with setting up the crafting side and I used to walk more, go to the gym more, etc. In fact, I don't do any of that. So just doing it once would be more. So I've even put a list of suggestions, dog walking, take up yoga, use the gym. I kept it very short and very practical. And I think that's okay sometimes. Sometimes you will not have time to go into depth on a question or depth of a design. But the idea is to develop a daily practice as much as you can. So rather than overcomplicate it for busy days, keep it shorter, keep it sweeter, and you've still achieved your goal. I am somebody who's very, very goal orientated. So if I set myself a goal and I then don't achieve it, maybe this is my ADHD, I tend to throw it all in the bin at that point. Learning to do shortcuts to a goal is not a bad thing for me. And as I explained earlier, tomorrow's design will probably be a simpler design as well for that reason. If I'm pushed for time, I need to shortcut on things. If I have a bit more time, we can do more complex designs and deeper questions. All we have to do is add this to the journal base. I hope today's page design has shown you that you can do very, very quick journal pages that still have an extra something to them. So they're not always having to be so complex. And I will see you next time.